Hey guys, welcome back from Classic Work. Got another good video for y'all here today. It's all about tool belts or work belts. So, I didn't realize this, but uh, I wear a work belt every day. Not only to keep my pants up, but y'all probably seen them over the years. I keep two little pouches on either side of me. And one of them houses a uh, Leatherman rebar or multi-tool, and the other one's a Buck 110. And I've been carrying these for probably probably at least three years. And I tell you, I don't know what I'd do without them. And I've never been a big fan of a utility belt because the ones that I had to wear back when I was working construction, uh, they I never could find any that actually fit me and actually could do the job. It wasn't until I got a little bit older and found out, oh, they do make some that 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 do work and you know you can find ways to work around them. And the other problem that I have is, as y'all can tell, I'm a skinny boy. So, you know, it's hard to find clothes that fit me. It's even harder to find work apparel that actually fits me. So, I'm going to show you all a couple of different types of uh, tool setup for work belts. Show you some good designs. Show you some very poor designs. And maybe you can get something out of it and learn something from it. And uh, you may go to your job and say, man, I wish I had known this years ago. You know, it, it, it very well could help you out. So without any further ado, let's get started and let's get after it. Okay, if you're a fan of the show, you probably remember this tool belt. This one right here was, uh, it wasn't my first, but it was the first good tool belt that I've ever used. Now, this is a typical carpentry style belt. It usually consists of at least three pockets. Some of them only have two and uh, you'll have some kind of uh, pocket for a speed square. So it's not a bad design. This uh, company is uh, AWP. They've been around a long time and uh, they make good product. Uh, this tool belt right here, I bet is pushing maybe 15 years old. It's pretty good. You can tell here it's, it's got some cosmetic damage. It's done tore the, uh, the stitching out right here where you can put say a razor blade or screwdrivers or whatever that you've got. But uh, it's a good uh, tool belt. It has its flaws. Like uh, these, these hammer loops right here. If you stick a hammer in there, now some people may like them, I don't. They, uh, they bump into your knee. You constantly just hit your knee on them. And I'll show a demonstration of that in a second. The other thing is these uh, pockets up here for the uh, screwdrivers and whatnot, when you wear this belt, they hang out like this and cords and air hoses and all kinds of stuff catch on them. If you're climbing a ladder, I can't tell you how many times I've caught edges of roofs and whatnot from stuff sticking out. And you can actually see scuffing on the screwdriver, how much stuff it's hit. So it's a good, simple design. They're relatively cheap. You know, they're not, they're not, uh, they're heavy made, well made. You know, it's 15 years old and it's, it's still got life in it. And, uh, it, it's a good setup, but it, it has some poor designs in it. Hammer loops, I don't like. These, to me, them are almost worthless. Do yourself a favor, get you an independent one that's right up next to your sign to put your hammer in. That's my biggest advice on something like that. Now, traditionally, most bags, you have two of them. You'll have one on your right side and one on your left side. Now, I never did do that. I, I didn't... I worked jobs where I didn't have to have that many tools, so there wasn't no point in me having another bag. If I did, it was electric like electricity wise stuff, and I carried another bag, if I can find it. I would put this bag right here. This is a south wire bag on the other side over here. And that helped me out a lot. Believe it or not, just that little pocket right there, I could carry a couple extra pliers and it wouldn't mess up my, my pouch over here for my screws and whatnot. So that worked out pretty good. This bag right here, it's really, really stiff, which is good. It makes it close to your body. Uh, and it worked fine. It, it didn't have a lot to offer other than, you know, just a couple of extra pockets. But it did the job that I needed it to do. All right, here it is in all of its glory. Now, let's go over the cons real quick about this belt. So first one is, like I said before, is these tools right here lean out like that. That man, you're dragging cords and hoses past them. They got caught all the time. 
especially getting on ladders, going up and over roofs, stuff like that. So that was one thing I really didn't like. Like I said before, these hammer loops, if you take a hammer and stick that in there, I'm going to show you something. I don't know if you can see that down there by my knee, but that hammer will constantly hit you in your kneecap. That is very uncomfortable. And you could put it over here. You can't even see over there. But that's just as bad because then you don't have accessibility. You have to lean over to get it. So I wasn't too thrilled about that design. Do yourself a favor, like I said, get one over here on your right side or whichever hand, your dominant hand. Another big downside of this is this belt, you have to tighten it really tight for it to stay on, on you. And if you get it too tight, like I often did, you know, tired of messing with it, <laughs> it will cut the circulation off to your legs. They used to happen to me quite often. I'd be walking, I'd have to be carrying a load, and uh, it would just, uh, my legs would start going numb and it was from the belt. So, not, not so great. Some of the pros of this belt. Since all you have is a belt that's going around you, it's actually a lot cooler than most work belts that have suspenders or have, you know, different ways to hold themselves up, you know, a big old rigid belt or something like that. They get really, really hot. So this being fairly narrow and everything, it'll keep you cool. Another good thing about this is, as I said before, is you can add things to it relatively easily. If you want another bag, you can stick another one over here on this side and you know work out really really good so and you can use this belt for a couple of different designs that that other belts per se can't do because they're only made to work with the equipment that is issued to them so not a bad design you know and you know in emergency situation you could take this leather band use it as emergency tourniquet if somebody severed their arm really bad i mean I, not to say that you'd do something like that, but, you know, in an emergency situation, you could. So, not bad. It's, it's, it got me by for, I think it was three or four years. It did really well. And, uh, yeah, not a bad tool belt, but it does have its flaws. I was going to show a couple of different configurations as well to work with the same belt. As y'all know, well know that I'm a welder, you know, I, I, I hung up my tool belt working on houses for the most part to, uh, to be a welder and a fabricator and a machinist. So this is another good way that you could use something like this. You know, I keep my chipping hammer and my hammer loop and I keep a rod bag on my side. I've actually, you can see all the grease on it. I've actually used this quite a bit. It's, it's very handy, especially if you're in an awkward position and you're sitting there welding and you get done you can just throw your, your stump down in your bucket and you can grab another rod with, you know and keep going you almost don't stop pretty much so that's another great way to utilize a work belt so another good type of work bag or leisure bag is one like this this right here is like a competition shooter bag so you can keep your shells in here on one side and you can keep your holes in the bottom or if you're a hunter like I am, you can keep your, your game in there as well. So this beats the heck out of carrying your ammo in your pockets. Ain't that right, ammo? That's right. So, doesn't matter what type of gun that you have, easy to load. Say if you've got an automatic. So. I know this is going to sound strange, but when I shoot, when I'm hunting, I keep my bag on my left side. If I'm competition shooting like skeet or sporting plays, I'll keep it on my right side, just depending on what it is. So here we got an automatic. Works just as good. Pump. Right side. Drop your holes. Even bolt action.
have it. Okay, we're gonna show some high-end work belts or tool belts. This right here is from a company called Atlas 46. They are proudly made here in the US of A and they make some work belts, I tell you what. Um, all this is some kind of like a synthetic heavy canvas and uh, it it is amazing what capabilities that these bags have, like versatility-wise. And holy Velcro, Batman. They've got <laughs> Velcro all over these bags to show just a couple of examples here. Now, this bag right here is actually an electrician's belt. And uh, I'll show you some of the pockets here so you can see them. you got places for, you know, long tools like pry bars. Go all the way down in there and they're nice and close to you and they won't get caught with nothing. They have, you know, big open pockets. You put screws in, fasteners, any type, that kind of stuff. Places to put speed squares, multi-tools, uh, even like uh, multimeters, stuff like that. You put that probably in that second one right there. But uh, super nice. They, uh, they have tons and tons of different configurations. Like I said, this is just an electron, uh, electrical bag. Uh, they have carpentry bags, all kinds of stuff. Here's a little look at the plier bag. Got a nice place to put your, your tape, uh, markers, uh, maybe small pliers. Tons of places to put big pliers, you know. Good stuff like that. So, and they're all vertically up. They got good places to keep, you know, keep stuff from getting tangled up in them. This one here actually has a uh, cordless drill holder. That's really nice. I've never had something like that on a job. So, very, very nice. So, the cool thing about this rig is you can take these off. You see it's got kind of Velcro everywhere. You can take these off. like so and you can move them around so you can put that over here you can put it anywhere it is a super super neat system so they they have like many points of contact so they can't once you put them there they're not supposed to move so if you're tired of you know pulling on your tool bag trying to get it to to stay in one place, you don't have to worry about that on something like this. So this also has the uh, suspenders here that are incorporated with it. And it's just a really, really nice setup. So I'll put it on real quick and show you some of the pros and some of the cons that this has. So let's take a look at it. Here's a little look at the uh, Atlas 46 electrician's belt with it on and everything. You can see you got, as we showed before, we got tons of pockets for everything. So you can carry big heavy things like those 10 snips and then loads of pockets for pliers and the cordless drill pouch in the back, which is really nice. I've never had anything like this. A lot of good in innovations. A um, couple of good pros of this other than it's versatility is you do have suspenders which takes a lot of load off I don't know if you can see right here this there's a yoke that goes all the way around into even into your upper back to help support the load it also has a real good uh, benefit of uh, when you carry things like lumber or steel that it doesn't bind into your neck and your shoulder it doesn't hurt as bad so that's another good little aspect. Of course all this stuff can be moved. This pouch can go over here, this one can go over here, vice versa. They make left hand drill holders in case you want to put the drill holder on your left side. All kinds of nice stuff. I forget how many items they have that, that can correspond with each belt but it, it's a lot. Another cool aspect, as I said before it's really hard for me to find clothes that fit let alone work apparel. They have belts. Uh, all different sizes just like you would buy a belt for your pants so my advice is I, I got a little too small of a belt whatever size you wear get the next one up is my advice if you decide to buy a unit like this so for instance if you wear a 34 then get a 36 
Um, that is definitely something because it, it's pretty tight. So, other than that, a couple of cons that I would say about this is the harness right here, which is great to help carry the load. It's really hot. Um, the, the few days that I wore it out in the field, that sweat will just get trapped in there. It, it's not terrible. I've, I've had lots worse, but it, uh, it will hold that moisture in, hold that heat to you, especially with these big long bags. That's just oodles of surface area for the sun to hit. So it would be great in the wintertime or if you were working indoors. But uh, that's, that's one thing that that's a little bit of an issue. But other than that, and uh, probably the biggest downside to this whole setup is, is price. This stuff is made in the U.S. and it is extremely expensive, but you get what you pay for. This is definitely, if you were going to use a tool belt every day, I, I, I couldn't, you couldn't get any better. You really couldn't. Um, there are other competing brands out there, but they're more or less, are, they're fighting the same boat. You know, it's like tools, Snap-on versus Mac, you know. Are they better at certain things? Yes. Are they worse in certain things? Yes. It's, it's all in your choice. But I am very impressed with this company. Another great thing about this, this work bag here, or this utility belt, is it comes off easy. Um, other tool belts, you kind of have to pull at them and stuff. Literally, one, two, and it's off. It goes off easy, and you can put it on back easy. So. Very, very nice setup. And like the leather ones, the more you use them, the more you'll get better with them. And they're easier and easier as it goes. See, this, uh, this belt here is a little bit tight. There you go. Not bad at all. I'm right back where I was. So, yeah, great tool belt. Here's a little action of toting. This piece of seat panel probably weighs 40 pounds, something like that. Might weigh a little more than that. As you can see, it spreads the load real good across your shoulder, and this doesn't hurt as near as bad as it would if I had nothing there, just had my t-shirt on, so it worked pretty good. Another thing is, if you're not into utility belts and work belts and stuff like that, Atlas also makes clothing. These pants right here are actually Atlas 46. And I'm going to tell you something, I've wore these for about two weeks now, and uh, they are some really good pants. Uh, as far as y'all know me, I'm a welder. If you need some pants that you're not going to get burned through anymore, these are the ones. They've got double stitch seams here and double the thickness around the knees all the way down through the front. They've got knee pad uh, holders so your knee pads won't walk around on you. Super big cargo pockets. They got hammer loops on both sides, left and right. Got the cargo back here. This here is a phone holder. I have my phone. So your cell phone fit right in there. I kind of don't like this because when I pick things up, I have put a lot of pressure on that spot, and uh, you might break your phone if you're like me. So not uh, right here. Good place to put your uh, your pocket knives, and they've got kind of deep channel pockets. They're, these are really deep pockets, and uh, they work pretty well. And of course, the back is just normal. You got a place for back pockets and everything. You can wear a super thick belt if you want to. They got really, really big uh, belt loops. Super heavy pants. Um, very hot. Uh, if you're here, if you live in the south or anywhere that's warm, uh, maybe not the best ideal for every day. 
but uh, they work really good. I've, I've wore Carhartt for years, and those are good pants, but they do not compete with these when it comes to getting caught on fire and having problems like that. I'll give you a little, for instance, I got burned pretty good right here, and it didn't even make, make it all the way through the pants. So, not bad. Not bad at all. So, yes, great clothing apparel if you need some heavy, heavy work pants. Well, guys, that's probably going to wrap it up. I hope y'all got something out of it, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. I want to give a shout-out to Mr. Trevor Smith. Uh, for reaching out to me from Atlas 46 for sending me the pants and the shirt of course the utility belt extremely nice I can't thank you enough for letting me have this opportunity and uh, hopefully y'all guys out there have gotten something from it too you may have not have taken anything away from this but hopefully a laugh maybe not even that so uh, anyways I hope it's been good I'll get back to my normal videos and we'll just keep trucking as they say once again, guys, y'all take care, and God bless from Classic Work.